and welcome to the EHS Nights News. I'm Bella. And I'm Skye. This year, EHS held its second annual career fair where juniors were exposed to many different career options for their future. Hi, my name is Sophia Kahn, and today is Ellington High School's career fair and workshop. Today is an exciting opportunity for juniors because they will be able to participate in workshops that will help them prepare for their future. Some of these workshops include military information, college essay writing, IRS law enforcement, job interview skills, and many more. These workshops offer students a wide range of tools that will help them prepare for what's to come after high school. I think it's important to have a career fair anywhere and for young people to be exploring different possible opportunities of what they want to do post high school. Going to college is great, but it's not the path that everyone has to take. So taking a path into different fields like manufacturing, working for the town, working on farms, uh, going into the military, we need good people in all aspects of all industries. And if Ellington public school students are aware of all the variety of opportunities out there to follow their passion and to contribute greatly to society and to really enjoy the work that they do on a regular basis. So it's not necessarily a job, but it's a career that is satisfying. Happy people make a happy planet and we, we can all contribute. Presenters shared what their workshops were about and why they thought it was important to participate in the Ellington Career Fair. Students also shared their thoughts on what they liked about the career fair, as well as what they took away. So uh, I'm with the Y, and what I'm trying to do is share like kind of like insider pointers, uh, do's and don'ts for job interviews. So things that employers uh, look for, don't look for, but might not communicate. So kind of insider information, so give everyone a leg up on the job interview process. My favorite workshop so far was the job interview workshop with the manager from the Y, because it really like just laid it all out there what you can expect like for people who haven't had their first job yet or people who have had interviews it just lays it out there what you should expect how you should prepare like good tips to like get you an advantage in like the application field well um they got the ivy over there they had cookies i like cookies and then of course they have the uh, modern milkman right over there they had milk i mean milk and cookies just go great together and that was why i really like those two I'm Kaylee from Oak Ridge Dairy and the Modern Milkman, and we decided to come here because um, we're local, right in the area. You can literally see our facilities from the high school. So we wanted to come and advocate for agriculture, agriculture community, and just kind of put our name out there and see if anyone wants to come work for us in the farming field. Hello, uh, so my name is Michael Bell. Uh, it's our first class at Connecticut Army National Guard. Your question about why it's important to have a career fair like this is for you guys. Being able to, you know, get experience and, and see, you know, different uh, fields and find interests and then also kind of learn more about that so that therefore you have a plan and know, you know how to go from A to B. My workshop is about advanced manufacturing. Advanced manufacturing is a, uh, a very, very in-demand field today. And we're trying to let uh, all the students know about that. Um, some that uh, you know like to work with their hands or they might be uh, geared toward that type of work. I think the career um, fair was very beneficial because it opened up new like ideas for students. Like some kids had no clue what they were going to do. It opened up trade, it opened up the military, it opened up college. Like it opened up all these new ideas and I just think it was really beneficial because we got to learn more about our own careers and what other people wanted to do and I just think it was great. I'm Sophia Canton, reporting for Ellington. This school year is coming to an end, and the class of 2024 is very excited for the end of their senior year. Here's Caitlin with the story. This year is coming to an end, and for seniors, this is a very exciting time. So we decided to ask a few of them some questions regarding the end of their high school careers. Seniors talk about what they're most excited for as their senior year comes to an end. Um, senior assassination and like class day and class night. Um, I think senior assassination is going to be fun. I think I'm definitely taking home the grand this year, uh, 100%. I'm yeah. uh, probably the most excited for senior assassination. Uh, I sprinkled in it last year, got the rules changed. Uh, 
Hopefully I can do the same this year and uh, the goal is to win. Yeah. I would say I'm definitely most excited for senior assassination. Seniors talk about what they would do if they won senior assassination. Um, I'm definitely uh, going to put it toward my mother. Uh, I think she really supported me throughout this whole year and I think I'm going to put it towards her. Um, I don't really know. I'd probably spend it on a uh, oven pay for college. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I'd probably have to think about that. Uh, you know, maybe an online shop is free, go to the mall. Probably stuff from my dorm. Like food. And food, yeah. Finally, seniors talk about how they feel about ending their high school careers. Um, I'm sad, but like, I'm also really excited to like, have something new in my life and like, go to college and stuff, meet new people. Uh, it passed by a lot quicker than I thought. Can't believe it's going to be a, you know, a couple weeks and we're done, so I'm excited. I'm kind of excited to start college, you know, a new chapter of my life. Overall, Ellington's class of 2024 is excited about graduating and what's next in their future. I'm Caitlin, reporting. A new award system started this year called the Super Badge. Here is Ella with the story. Ellington High School offers a Super Badge, which is given to students who meet certain standards. In an interview with assistant principal, we got more details. Super Badge is our way as Ellington Knights of recognizing students who truly exemplify suiting up and standing up. Mr. Hubrins talks about what standards students need to meet to get Super Badge. For students who are able to maintain an 80% or higher in all of their classes, no more than one unexcused absence for the quarter, and no office referrals. What are the main benefits of Super Badge? So the ones that students care about the most, first and foremost, if you're an upperclassman with Super Badge, early dismissal. So if being a Super Badge means you're already going above and beyond with your classes. So if you have a study hall at the end of the day, you've proven you don't need it. So we'll allow you, with permission from your parents and your counselor, to leave school early. Students are also eligible for early access. So as you saw today, we actually had our first suit up giveaway where we were able to recognize students and give them away free merchandise from our school store, brand new merchandise that we just purchased. That goes to Super Badge students first. Students talk about their perks of having Super Badge. Uh, my favorite perks are getting early access to the school store. My personal favorite perks are um, that next year during my junior year, I can leave early if I have a study hall during H block. Um, I also love that I can get early access to the school store. This is Ella reporting. This year, our school held a culture and climate conference where schools from all over New England came to visit us. Students got to participate in interactive activities and listen to guest speakers who had to come in. Many different schools sent their students and faculty to Ellington High School to learn about how they can make their school's culture and climate better. <laughs> We asked them what they want to get out of the event today. Um, probably meeting new people and seeing what like school culture is about and trying to take away stuff to bring back to our school. Probably food. I'm just looking forward to learning from all the speakers. Me and me as well, man. Don't know a little too much coming in, but I'm trying to learn a lot coming out. Guest speaker John Paul Gonzalez spoke out to the crowd. So I decided to study my city if I really wanted to make a difference in it. I found out that we lacked programming to help our students. Put it this way, 300 kids tried out for a basketball team four months ago. You can't take 300 kids on a team though, right? You can only take about 30. So 270 kids, they got cut. They don't really like basketball that much. They just want to be part of a family because they don't have one at home. So that's why they would join the game for family. So I said, what if we could give them family? guest speakers talked about how we could improve our schools. Giving somebody the room for their emotional reaction. Am I not overreacting to it? Let's put it in round table. We're going to teach teachers how to facilitate a storytelling opportunity. We're going to teach teachers how can I help students recognize those emotions and then how can I use Harvard videos to have real conversations about that work. Uh, yes. well, here's my, here's my, my promise to you. I hope you figure it out. I'll walk right with you. 
Yeah, you're, you're very, very welcome. Ralph, wrap this thing. Thank you. They've left me two minutes and a couple times. <laughs> While the educators had gone to the library to discuss EHS's new design and suit up stand up, the students had done interactive activities in the auditorium. Challenge! One person from each team at a time has to get the entire fruit by the foot all the way into your mouth using only your mouth. You can't use your hands, you can't use the floor, you can't use only your mouth. I thought it was so great. I thought the environment and culture was like awesome. Everyone was like, it had like such a great like energy. I thought it was just so great. I mean, the activities we did, like I came here thinking we would just be sitting the whole time, but I actually had a lot of fun. I got more. I got an opportunity to show off how great Ellington High School is. I got an opportunity for all of the students who put in the work to get their hour to shine. Every other school that came to today was talking about you guys. Every other teacher was saying, how did you do it because we can't do it. So impressed with the work you guys are doing, but now here's the hard part. You can't let it just live in that auditorium. You got to take it to every hallway, every classroom, because if you want to keep growing this, you got to put the work in. The students had a great time and the teachers learned how to improve their culture and climate. Overall, the conference was a success. For EHS News, this is Colin McKee reporting. Thanks for watching EHS Nights News. We'll see you next time.